welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. Okay, today we're, um, I'm going to be talking about a fragrance that I didn't actually think I'd need to talk about or particularly want to talk about, but, <clears throat> excuse me, in line with Questioning Sense, which is a project that my friend and I, Richard, are looking to do where we talk um, and give our honest opinion on various fragrances that we wear, you know, I have to really review this because it is one that I wear a lot and it's certainly one that Richard wears a lot. Um, what prom prompted me to do this? Today I was going to do a couple of reviews of other fragrances, but I was on Facebook this morning um, and I was on one of the bigger um, fragrance groups, one of the uh, sort of more multinational ones. And there was a big argument kicking off about a fragrance and literally I couldn't believe what I was reading. The anger and the sort of revulsion and, you know, on the other side, the positive vibes. It was amazing that so, so many people could get so excited and so carried away about a fragrance and a cheap one like that. So I thought, oh, sod it, I'll pitch in with my five penneth worth and see what you think. And we'll, uh, we're going to talk today about Armas Club de Nuit Intense Man. Now, the reason I wasn't going to do a review of this or even talk about it is because it's been done to death. Everybody has had an opinion on it. So I thought, well, you know, fair enough. As I say, Rich and I wear it, so let's just talk about it for a bit. And we'll give you a quick review uh, and some insight and some, some feedback and some thoughts with regards to it. It's obviously an Aventus clone. Now, there are more Aventus clones out there than you can shake a stick at. And we've done two videos so far, one on niche alternatives and one on cheap alternatives. And the reason we didn't include Club de Nuit or Armas Club de Nuit Intense Man in that is because, as I've said a couple of times so far, it has been covered to death. But it, you know, the, this argument and this debate still rages on, and I cannot for the life of me understand why. Um, so I've had it a while, Rich has had it a little bit longer, uh, and we both, we both really like it. And I'll tell you why. This is not, by any means, the best Aventus clone on the market. All right, let's get that straight out there. It does smell like Aventus. Um, it smells really, really good, but it's not the best clone out there. I mean, for example, this little uh, bottle of Luxor Conquest, I think is a better uh, clone of Aventus than Club de Nuit. But the reason that I like it and the reason that I wear it is because it covers everything. It's quite fruity, it's quite smoky, and it has amazing performance. Now, when I first got this, I was surprised at how well it does perform. Um, and I've got, you know, as you probably gathered, an awful lot of fragrances that I like to wear. But obviously, I, you know, when it comes to work, I have now kind of settled down on this as my signature scent for work. Um, and the reason being, I can trust it. It will see me through. I mean, in my, in my job, I deal with lots and lots of different people at lots of different locations. I travel around all over the shop. Um, and I don't spend a great deal of time with one person, but I speak to lots and lots of people throughout the course of my day at work or my evening at work. And I think it's important when you're dealing sometimes with the public, when you're dealing with lots of different people, is to smell quite nice, especially if you're in quite close proximity to people. And this does that. I put it on before I go to work, and when I come home, I can still smell it. It goes on and on and on and on and on and yeah. on and on and on. It keeps me smelling nice throughout the day. Um, it keeps me smelling fresh, it keeps me smelling clean, and it is a really, really nice smell. A lot of people complain about the synthetic nature of this, and it is quite synthetic. If you were to compare this to uh, any of the batches of Aventus that you own, this Club de Nuit will smell a lot more synthetic on your skin, for sure. The closer you get to, I mean, let's have, well, let's have a little spray now, and then we'll talk about what we get. Okay, so where's the nozzle? Sorry, I haven't got the glasses on. There we go. Right, so that's a couple of sprays on there. And first and foremost, in the opening, really, really sharp, quite synthetic lemon hits you. Then, you know, the, well, no, it's pretty much just a lemon at the moment, to be honest. And that, that really, really is quite a loud lemon as well. It's sharp, it's taut, it's not very particularly sweet. It's, it's very, very powerful. Then you get a little bit of sweetness coming in from the, from the black currant. You don't really get much pineapple at all out of this. This is more of a lemon-based um, or bergamot-based sort of Aventus clone. But it, 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 it's pokey. It's very, very powerful. Now, I think that this, the clue's in the question. It's Club de Nuit Intense Man. Club. Now, I'm kind of reading maybe too much into this, but 
This wasn't designed for people to be sitting next to people. I think the club is the clue there. This is designed to project, it's designed to hang in the air and it's designed to cloud around you, which it does perfectly well, especially in the first couple of hours. It's incredibly loud. And it does, as I said, smell very synthetic on your skin. If you put your nose right into it, it has got a very synthetic smell to it. It's not unpleasant, but it doesn't smell particularly natural. Now, if you put real Aventus on you, you know, the closer you get to it, it doesn't really change. It smells very natural, it smells very smooth, it smells very well blended, this doesn't. If the blending actually isn't too much of an issue when it calms down, because the, the you know, for the first hour, hour and a half, it's very, very loud. But for the first 20 minutes, it's incredibly lemony. Um, you know, a lot of people talk about this sort of pledge or, you know, a polishy sort of smell. I don't really get that. I just get, I think calling it pledge is quite a lazy description. It's, uh, it's certainly loud and it's not sweet and it's very, very lemony. And I suppose there is a kind of a cleaning sort of a, a cleaning product edge to it, but it doesn't smell like I've just sprayed furniture polish or an industrial cleaner on me at all. It really doesn't. It smells like a scent. It smells like a fragrance. There's no getting away from that. I think people are overly harsh on this. And the other thing is, as I'm trying to sort of clumsily explain, this is designed to project in the air around you. And when you smell this in the air, it smells awesome. It smells amazing. It's, you know, when, 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 when you pick up on it, it, it just smells lovely. I was at work the other evening. And I was sitting in the cafe with a, a couple of my friends at a break. And two guys came in. And the whole cafe, you know, it's like a coffee shop filled up with the, the smell of, of Club Den Lee. So as the, these guys got their coffees and sat down and were chatting away, I went over to them and said, right, who's, who's wearing the Armaf? And they laughed and they were both wearing it. But the smell of it absolutely filled up the, the, the cafe in a really nice way as well. It, was, it wasn't like a big fog that came in. It was a really pleasant vibe that came across the room and, and we had a laugh, we had a chat about it and uh, you know, we sort of spoke about how much we enjoyed the, the, the fragrance, etc. So I don't really get the hate. I understand that Aventus purists will, you know, they tend to slag off everything that isn't, you know, Aventus. But let's be honest about it. I've been wearing Aventus for three, maybe four years, possibly even five, to be honest, when I first sampled it. I've never bought a bottle of Aventus because as I've said in previous videos, every time I get a decant, it smells different. And I just cannot be asked with that. I want to buy a fragrance that I know what it's going to smell like. I know how it's going to perform. The later, and you know, the, the more and more recent batches of Aventus that I've been getting have been really, really poor in performance. Now, Rich has got a large bottle of Aventus, and I think he's only second or third large bottle of Aventus, so he's a big, big fan, or was a big, big fan. You know, but someone as diehard as Richard has started to, to be, you know, looking around and exploring other clones or, or other versions or something with that Aventus DNA, because he's sick to death of giving Creed all the money that he's been giving Creed over the years for such a poor performing product. I'm not gonna slag Aventus off because I absolutely love the DNA of it. I love the smell of it. I think in some respects, it's very much a legendary fragrance. It deserves a, a big round of applause for all the, you know, for all the hype it's created for the, for the effect it's had on the fragrance community. There's very, very few fragrances can claim to have done what Aventus has done in terms of turning people into niche fragrances or onto niche fragrances, should I say, or, you know, exciting people. Lots of people will only know of Creed through Aventus. Lots of people will only know Aventus from all the world of niche out there. And lots of people will know Aventus as much as they would know some, some of the more designer um, fragrances that people would normally buy. So Aventus, you know, props for, for everything you've done in that respect. But the performance is shite now. Oh, well, maybe that's a bit harsh, but the performance is nowhere near what it should be. I personally think for a fragrance that commands that much money. And it's a very expensive fragrance. And that's why there's been this world of clones, you know, why it's this, this sort of world of clones has spawned off the back of Aventus, because people don't really want to be paying for it. So back to Club de Nuit. The presentation is excellent. It's a really heavy bottle. It looks good. It's got a really, you know, stiff cap on it. Um, I, I've never had one of the ones with a silver sprayer, so I can't really talk about that, to be honest with you. This is a workhorse for me. I absolutely adore it. I wear this every day for work. Sometimes I do layer it, if it's gonna be particularly hot, I layer it with this, which is ISOE Super. Uh, and this is basically a clone of Eccentric Molecules 01, which I got from eBay for about 10. I'm on about the fourth or fifth bottle of this because I use this with a lot of my less performing scents. So if I've got a fragrance that doesn't do particularly well, and uh, hasn't got particularly good longevity or isn't particularly loud, 
I will layer it with the ISOE Super. Now that doesn't work on everything. It doesn't particularly work very well with very fruity or citrusy fragrances. But if you've got a fragrance that's not performing particularly well, that's got a, a, wood, a woody base to it, then ISOE Super does really work. It does seem to amplify the fragrance and it does seem to make it last longer. So if it's gonna be particularly hot, which it has been over the last few days, I'll spray some of this on and then I'll stick the Club de Nuit Intense Man over the top of it. And this will guarantee that I will get a good eight to 10 hours performance out of this. And it smells great. <clears throat> the ISO just seems to, to soften the initial um, assault from the lemon. Um, and then it, it just helps it sort of, it helps carry it a, a, a lot further and it seems to um, to really, really increase, well not really increase the longevity because I get a good seven, up six, seven, maybe eight hours out of this just as it is. And I mean, I do spray it quite heavily because it smells great. Once that bright burst of lemon has kind of calmed down, the birchy note comes in, you know, the other fruits come in and then it gets really quite smoky, which I like. Um, of all the, the batches of Aventus I've tried, I particularly like the smoky one, which this one seems to remind me most of. So, I, I, you know, again, I think this is a really good product. It's as cheap as chips. This is like 25 quid, I think, or even less. I think I paid 22 quid. So much so, this is, this is the one I'm wearing at the moment. This is a backup bottle I've got when that runs out. And I'm off to France quite soon. And this is a present for my brother-in-law. So I've got, you know, I like it enough to have three, but well, two bottles of mine and one's a gift. You know, so that, that, that in itself speaks volumes. For work, I've got, you know, as I've probably mentioned before, I've got a lot of fragrances and some I really, really love and some are very, very special occasion fragrances. I have a bottle of um, Nassimato's Pardon, which is probably my favorite fra fra fragrance of all time. It's a very, very special fragrance to me and I only wear it on special occasions. It's a tiny 30 mil bottle and I don't want to burn through it. I love it so much. If it was down to, you know, if money was no object and I had, you know, an unlimited access to it, I'd wear Pardon all the time, but I can't, you know, it's a, a tiny 30 mil bowl. So I keep it aside. I keep a lot of my fragrances that I love and treasure. I keep them for special occasions. I don't want to wear them for work every day because I'll just get through them. I have to go to work pretty much every day to obviously, you know, pay the bills. So, you know, smelling, smelling nice at work is pretty damn important to me. And this does the job. It's an absolute magnet for compliments. I wore this to the pub the other Friday night and you know, three or four people complimented me on it. I get compliments at work galore wearing this. Um, and that's because it smells so good in the air. As I've mentioned earlier, it doesn't smell so crash hot, really close to the skin. It does smell a little synthetic, not unpleasant synthetic. There's a big difference. It smells nice, but the further you, know, the further you are away from it, the better it smells. It smells amazing. So, you know, when people sort of say, oh, you know, it smells a bit like polish, it doesn't smell like polish. When people say, oh, no, it's not as good as the Ventus. <laughs> it's not as good as the Ventus. No, you're right, it's not. It performs better, but is it better than the Ventus? Of course it's not. This costs 20 quid for 100 mils. The Ventus will cost you about 300 quid for the same amount. So, of course, it's not going to be better but it is going to be a really good alternative. And as far as I'm concerned, and I think I can speak for Richard as well, this performs so much better than Aventus. I have you know, mentioned in my previous video, I'll never buy a bottle of Aventus, why would I? There's so much good stuff out there. I haven't even tried the Parfums vintage stuff yet, and that's meant to be really, really good. You know, look at the other videos if you want some of the more niche alternatives, but I prefer the Bond number no. nine. I even prefer Orion to Aventus now. And for work, for mucking about, for going down the pub, for casual evenings, that is so much better for me than Aventus ever could be. So there you go. Sorry a bit, been a bit ranty, but when you read so much nonsense, you think, Christ almighty, I need to put my, my point across here. This sort of bashing of fragrance because it doesn't cost a lot of money is absolute rubbish. You know, I like a cheap fragrance as much as the next man. I like an expensive one, I like them all. As long as they make you smell good and feel good and feel great, then do it. Club de Nuit can be worn anywhere. <clears throat> you can wear it in any weather. You can wear it in any, I can't, you know, it's appropriate for pretty much everywhere. Just don't spray it too hard if you're going out for something a bit more intimate than a pub or a club or something like that. You know, just be a bit aware of the people around you because it is quite loud, especially in the first hour. Ah! Let that 20 minutes of lemony outrageousness go if you don't like it. I personally do like it. Um, and when once that's subsided, it will become deep, it will become rich, it will become smoky. 
um, just exactly what you want from an Aventus cone. So don't listen to the haters, get yourself a bottle and enjoy it. Thanks very much for your time. We'll see you next time. Bye.